Today, we're going to look at how the use of runbook automation improves the velocity across multiple teams by making technical expertise more accessible throughout the organization. To stay competitive in today's digital world, companies need to be able to move fast. And this means optimizing how their valuable employees are spending their time. This also means maximizing how the company can harness the technical expertise of their highly technical employees. On a regular basis, such technical individuals are interrupted from their strategic projects to address ad hoc requests. The volume of these requests only grows as companies adopt newer technologies that require even more specialized skills, such as cloud, microservices, and infrastructure as code tooling. For instance, let's say Allison is a business analyst in the company and needs a new compute instance to be spun up so that she can do some analytics on the company's customer experience metrics. In order for a new instance to be provisioned, she submits a request to IT. Now, manager Marvin in IT will review the request, and if the information provided is valid, he will go ahead and approve the request. At this point, however, the, the request is now passed over to DevOps Danny. And this is because Danny is a Terraform and Cloud Wizard who has the specialized skills to fulfill such requests. But Danny is involved in multiple strategic projects, such as designing the new infrastructure to host the company's newest product. He's also involved in helping the company expand the infrastructure footprint into new regions. And Danny's team works in three-week sprints, usually under hard deadlines. And so this means that sometimes it'll be a number of days before he can get around to help Danny fulfill such requests. And so Allison must wait until Danny can fulfill the request and pass the access information about the new instance back to Marvin and to Allison. The fact that tasks like these cannot be fulfilled until the other teams can leverage Danny's technical expertise slows down the velocity of multiple teams. And this is where runbook automation drastically improves this workflow so that business users like Allison can harness Danny's knowledge without the interruption and without the delay, and so that Danny can stay focused on his larger projects. Here we will show how Rundeck provides a platform to automate these technical tasks so that requests like these can be fulfilled at the moment of approval. So this request process will take place in ServiceNow. And per company policy, I've created a new configuration item in our CMDB. And as part of that CI, I've added the information about the instance I'm requesting, such as the host name and the instance type. With this created, I can go ahead and create a change request. And in this change request, I will go ahead and select the new CI that I've created and assign it to the appropriate group. In this case, that is the change approval group. I'll add a short description such as analytics on customer experience metrics. And then I'll go ahead and submit this. And then I'll go ahead and request approval. At this point, I'll go ahead and impersonate someone from the change approver group so that I can show in real time what this looks like. So as one of the change approvers, um, in this case, might be manager Marvin, uh, I see that there's this new ticket in my queue. I look at the filled out form and make sure that everything looks valid. And if so, then I will scroll down here to go ahead and approve this request. Now, at this point, when I approve this request, in, in most cases, now this request gets passed off to DevOps Danny and it's now in DevOps Danny's queue, and it doesn't get fulfilled until he's available. But with Runbook Automation, what's gonna happen when I click Approve is it's gonna kick off the workflow that Danny has shared with Rundeck such that he doesn't need to be interrupted to make use of his technical expertise. So I go ahead and click Approve. I'm gonna tab over to Rundeck and look at the fact that this job got automatically kicked off. Now we can dig in to see what this job is actually doing. And we look at the log output, we can see that Rundeck is pulling the Terraform configuration from source control and invoking that Terraform on a remote node. And this Terraform uh, is building a new AWS instance in uh, a new EC2 instance in AWS. And once it's been created, it grabs the instance ID and then it uses the AWS command line to get the 
private IP address of that EC2. And once that's done, it passes that information back over to ServiceNow. And so when we refresh our ServiceNow request, we can see that the state of the ticket has changed to closed. And that in the notes section, that information about the EC2 that was spun up has been posted back to the ticket. And so in a scenario like this, a business user like Allison can get her request fulfilled in real time and get the information that she needs to continue doing her work much faster. Mm -hmm.